God's word, the miracle seed. Luke chapter 8, verses 4 through 8. And when a great multitude had gathered, and they had come to him from every city, he spoke by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trampled down, and the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. But others fell on good ground, sprang up, and yielded a crop a hundredfold. When he had said these things, he cried, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Most of us are very familiar with this parable of the sower that Jesus shared, and it's recorded for us in uh, the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, record this for us. And uh, this week, we'll take some time just to draw insights from the parable of the sower. When uh, Jesus spoke this parable, uh, Mark records for us saying that, uh, Jesus said that if you understand or if we understood this parable of the kingdom, then we will understand all the other parables that he had to share with us concerning the kingdom. You see, these parables of the kingdom reveal secrets or truths concerning the kingdom of God, concerning the way uh, the kingdom of God operates, concerning the way in which God uh, disburses his rule and his authority throughout his kingdom. So uh, this parable reveals what we would say uh, basic elementary and yet foundational truths and insights for us to operate in the kingdom of God. The first insight that we draw from here from this parable of the sower is that God's word is the miracle seed. In Luke chapter 8 and verse 11, as Jesus begins to explain the parable, he says, Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. So Jesus is telling us that the seed which the sower went out to sow is the word of God. So we need to understand uh, what, what the Lord is getting across to us through this parable, that God's word is like seed. Now, when you think about a seed, a, a, you know, usually you look at something that's very small, uh, that almost seems lifeless, uh, and it doesn't seem of much value. It's just a little seed. Uh, you may take the seed of a tomato uh, plant or a tamarind tree or an apple tree. Uh, the seeds look so small and they don't, you know, they don't seem to have much promise in it. But yet inside that seed is the potential uh, of giving rise to a plant that can produce a lot of fruit or a tree that can produce much fruit for many years to come. That's the potential that is in that one seed. And what the Lord is saying for us is that the word of God is like that. God's word is that miracle seed. In every word that God has spoken, in every promise that He has given, wrapped inside it, bundled inside that word, is the power of God, is, is the potential of God that will give rise to something in our lives that can bear fruit uh, for much time to come. So the first insight that we draw from the parable of Sova is that the word of God uh, is the miracle seed and that when this seed, uh, and this seed has the potential within it, the power within it, uh, God's own power within it to produce in our lives. So when we read the Word of God, when you hear the Word of God, uh, when you meditate in the Word of God, what you and I are doing is really we are receiving miracle seed. We are receiving Word that has the potential to bear fruit in our lives. And it can totally transform our lives. It can produce in our lives. That's a truth. We must embrace with our hearts. Every time you open the Bible, remember God's word is the miracle seed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the parable of the sower. We thank you for truths uh, that have been contained uh, in that parable. We receive, Lord, the understanding that your word is miracle seed, full of potential to produce in our lives. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.